Hi, it's Dominic. If you are into AI images, AI influencers, and the latest in the AI world, you're in the right place. Let's dive in. In today's video, I want to show you how you can create high quality images of any product you can think of using a powerful AI tool called Flare AI. This video is not only valuable for pure e-commerce people, but also for the ones having their own AI influencer. Because with the method I'm going to show you, it's also possible to create nice product mood shots that are essential for any influencer's social media feed. So let's waste no further time and jump right to my screen. Before we head over to Flare AI, the tool which we are going to use to create our high quality product images, I want to show you a little overview what we are actually about to do. As you can see here, I already prepared three different examples, starting with that image of a sun cream. And with Flare AI, you are able to do so-called background replacement. And then you just take a random snapshot of your product and you can place the product in a different background, a different environment. This is done super fast and super easy. And as you can see, it gives you a lot of opportunity, especially if you want to sell that product. This already looks way better than the shot on the left side. So we can just take random shots and turn them into professionally looking product images. Then down here, we have two examples of so-called product LoRa's. A LoRa is basically a little adaption of an entire AI model that is only trained with images of, for example, your product. And in example one, I trained a product LoRa with my personal sunglasses. And in example three, I trained the product LoRa with the shirt I'm wearing right now. And as you can see on the right side afterwards, we are able to place that product in different environment, different backgrounds, and as it is a LoRa, it's also possible to recreate the product in different angles and different views. And that's the difference to only the background replacement. Because with background replacement, you see it's the same angle and the same position of the product, just the background is changed. And if you train an entire LoRa, a product LoRa with your product, the AI fully learns how this product looks like from different angles. And then it can recreate the product again and again in different environments. And you are not limited to only one view of the product. So this is more powerful. And in the next step, I go over to Flare AI and show you how both of these methods is done. Good, as you can see, I'm already locked into Flare AI with a free account. So you have the opportunity to sign up completely for free with a Google account or any other email address. And then you have the opportunity to play around a little bit. You don't have too much free credits, but you're totally able to train your own product LoRa and to also do some background replacements. And this is what we do now in that tutorial. Here on the left side, you see all the tools that we can select off. We have templates for certain product categories like beauty, fashion, also glasses, footwear, hats, and so on. You see the tool is definitely specialized in product for Photography. Then we have the custom models. This is what you want to use if you want to train your own product, Laura, for example, of a shirt or your sunglasses, as you saw it in the example before. Then there's also a human builder. You can use that to create an entire digital model drag and drop canvas where you can place items in real time and then the image adapts in real time and we also have a video feature here in that tutorial i just want to focus on templates for background replacement and on the custom model section to train a product laura but i will bring more ai tutorials in the future where i will also talk about the other features but this tutorial i want to keep it clean and simple to show you how you can get your product images as fast as possible good so let's begin with a template to do a background replacement as you saw it in the example before we click here on beauty 
and then you come to exactly that screen. And I have to admit, it can be a little bit confusing and overwhelming in the beginning because there are a lot of menus we can select off. There's also this real-time canvas, which is sometimes behaving a little bit weird, but you will see in a second that it's actually quite easy. As we want to create a high-quality image of our own product, I recommend you to click first here on products and then you can select example products i actually don't understand why i would use such an example product because at the end of the day the goal is to promote our own products or to use our own products so that's why i don't understand we have that selection here but nevertheless we can also click here on upload product photo and when we do that we have the opportunity to upload our own photos and as you can see i already prepared some examples for example, here we have our sunscreen and if we click on upload, that image gets uploaded to the platform and we will be asked if we want to remove the background. Of course, we could also do that already earlier, for example, with canvas and then save the image as a PNG. But as you can see, it also works totally fine with the JPEG and then we can remove the background right here at the platform. I click here remove because I want the background to be removed and then we have to describe our product. And here also the platform recommends to keep it very simple and just describe what you actually see in the image. For example, I went with a bottle of sunscreen. Super plain and simple. And then we hit continue. And then as a default, you land here in the prompt builder. And the prompt builder is basically a little tool that helps you writing the perfect prompt for your product image. So whatever you select down here in that menu gets added in the form of text to your prompt. But you can also go with the templates and this is what I recommend you because it's a little bit easier to understand what's actually going on. If you scroll down here, you see different templates you can use to place your product in. For example, here we have modern furniture, we have household items, we have nature, automotive and so much other things. So just browse a little bit here and select the background which you think fits best to your product. In that example, I want to go with a plain and simple background. So I click just here in front of a white background. And as you can see up here, now this gets added to our prompt, a bottle of sunscreen in front of a white background. Then we can hit generate and we just have to wait a couple of seconds until our new background gets produced. And there we go, here is our new background, a plain and simple white background, and we also have this nice shadow. And when I click on the image, you see that on the left side, we have even more possibilities to edit the image. We could use, for example, a magic eraser. If we want to get rid of a certain detail, we can upscale it. We can also create variations of the image, or we can also extend it. But as you can see, these are all pro features and you need a subscription to be able to do that. But if you have it, it's straightforward how you apply it. But in this tutorial, I want to only focus on the things that you can do completely for free. That's why I won't talk about these features. And then if you want to keep that image, you just scroll down here, click on download image and a couple of seconds later your final image gets downloaded. If you want to try it out with another background, you just go back to generate and then down here you just select a different background. Let's see what we have. For example, nature. We click on nature, then the prompt gets adjusted and we hit generate again. Good, in this example, it didn't work out too well because now we have this little yellow candle in the background, which is disturbing the product a little bit. So let's just test it out one more time with another background. And in this example, let's see what we can use. Let's go with that one, the shelf. We click on it, the prompt gets adjusted one more time. We hit generate and we wait for our third generation. Good, here on the right side, we see the final image and this time it worked really, really good because now it looks like our product, the sunscreen, is standing on a nice shelf in a modern bathroom with some flowers around. So this is a perfect result. And if we download it, we just go over here to edit, 
and then down here to download image and then we can also download that one. That's it regarding the background replacement and now we will train our own product LoRa which is even more powerful as the background replacement because with that we have the opportunity to recreate our product again and again also from different angles without always providing an input image of our product. Good, to be able to train our product LoRa we go up here to back to project so that we come to the starting screen and then we click on custom models. As you can see we have a little selection, we can do fashion and variables which is perfect for products, we have human model, that's when you want to train a lower for example with a certain person that you can recreate again and again and then we also have a static and this is basically if you just want to train a LoRa with a general style of color, lighting and yeah just style in general, so in my opinion this is the weakest and especially that one here on the left side is the most powerful feature because it gives us the opportunity to recreate certain products exactly as they are. And especially if you are in e-commerce and you want to create product images, it's very important that all the details of the product stay exactly as they are. Good, so let's start with the training of our own product LoRa and I will show you what I did to train the product LoRa of my shirt. So I just click here on that button and then it's actually very, very simple. We have two steps, the model training and then the image generation. In the first step, the model training, we upload at least three images of our product, as it says here in the example, and then we have to wait about three hours until the product LoRa is fully trained. If you upgrade to the subscription, this is done way, way faster. They say like five minutes, but if you have time and you want to save some money, just go with the free account and wait a little bit longer. And to start the training you click here on that button and then you have the opportunity to upload images from your computer or also from a service like Google Drive. You click here, you go to the folder where your product images are and then you just select them and you upload them. You wait until they are all uploaded to the platform and when this is done you can just Get rid of that and you are back to that screen. And now you see all the images are uploaded. I just went with random smartphone shots of myself wearing that shirt from different angles. And as you can see, they also recommend to just upload product shots without the person. So just feel free to experiment a little bit, but I tested it out with these random shots and it worked very, very good as you will see in a minute. And when you uploaded your images you want to use for the LoRa training, you're almost done. There's just one more thing that you could do and this is clicking here on configure strength. And when you do that, you have the opportunity to select the product strength. And they say the higher this is, the closer the final images are to your product but it takes probably a little bit longer for the training to be done and the weaker this is the faster the training but it's not really your product anymore so i highly recommend you to go here with strong and just wait a little bit longer until the training is done and that's it then you can just hit here start training and when you do that you have to wait for about two to three hours you get an email when it is done and then you can go over to the next step the image generation. As I already trained my own LoRa with exactly these six images, I won't start the training again and I just go over to the image generation and show you what you do next after you finished your training. Good, when your training is done after two or three hours, your screen should look like that. Down here you see a little button that says succeeded and then you can generate images of your product and you do that by just clicking here on image generation the second step and then you have a prompt here and as you know it already from the background replacement feature you also have the possibility to select different background templates and if you have the pro subscription you can even 
select more settings such as the aspect ratio or the number of images you generate and so much more and you have even a more powerful editor and you have the possibility to also change for example the hair and so much more but for now i want to keep it to the free features and just show you how you can now use your own product laura to recreate that product in that example the shirt again and again in different environments so let's just check out here all the backgrounds available and let's see what we do you see we have this classical e-commerce backgrounds with a plain white or gray background we have some nature we have some outside images like the mountains or a cafe or here in the desert yeah let's just see what we will do let's do that city background that looks cool and when we click on it you see the prompt gets adjusted and loaded and then we can just hit here generate then we have to wait a couple of seconds and hopefully we get my shirt now in this nice looking downtown background good you see the final result we got two images and i think especially the one here on the left side turned out very very good i think this looks exactly like i look and especially the shirt is also impressingly accurate so this could easily be used for uh, e-commerce commercial or if you want to for example promote that shirt on your social media channel or any other use case where you need an accurate image of your product this also turned out quite well but here i don't like the shirt too much because the stripes are a little bit different as they are in reality down here you see all the other examples i created and i think overall we can agree that the shirt looks very very realistic and also myself turned out actually quite realistic at least in most of the images also that one here is really really nice and keep in mind that the goal of that training was not to recreate myself the goal was to train the laura for that shirt and i think the laura did a great job here to do exactly that if you have the pro subscription you could also click here on add human and then you can select another model and the model will be wearing exactly your product for example my shirt and this is even more powerful because at the end of the day if it would be just about me in different settings wearing that shirt i could also do that by myself but if i for example want to launch a campaign for a certain product i need many models wearing my product in different environments and then this feature is very very powerful good that's it regarding the product laura training and now i want to just sum it up one more time we have the background replacement there you just upload a snapshot of any product and then you can replace the background with any other template provided by Flare AI. Or we have the more complex solution, the product LoRa training. There you upload at least three images of different angles of your product and after two to three hours you receive your own product laura and then you can recreate that product in different environments and different angles again and again so these are the two options and keep in mind as i told you in the beginning this is not only valuable if you have an e-commerce shop but also for people who have for example their own ai influencer because as you might know it from famous influencers oftentimes these influencers just post nice looking nude images of products for example nice placed on a bed or their beauty routine with some beauty products and so on and with that method i just showed you you can also create this nice looking product mood shots and this will be a huge add-on for your ai influencer and make the whole account just look more professional that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and you got a lot of value out of it. If so, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and please let me know in the comments if you already tested out Flare AI and how you like the results. I hope we see each other in the next video. Take care and goodbye.